it's a million pound a year business. Dog thefts are on the increase and in particular trained working dogs. Selina Masson is one of thousands of owners who've had their dogs stolen this year. Her black three-year-old Cocker Spaniel Archie was taken on the 11th of December at a shoot in Sussex. The back of the car had been smashed into, the thieves had taken a crowbar to the security grill at the back and yeah, he was gone. The feeling of loss has been unbearable for her and her boyfriend Simon and they've tried every possible way to advertise that Archie's missing. Even Facebook is playing its part, getting the message out there and giving Selena some comfort with well-wishers offering their support. You go through waves of feeling really, really positive and thinking you've got 800 people on your Facebook group, you know, getting coverage like this. Um, I've got an article coming out in Shooting Times, you know, everyone's really rallying round and I feel really positive that we're going to get him back. In fact, sometimes I think I can't not get him back. And then other times you'll just plunge into despair and, you know, have a little breakdown and need to disappear into the loo at work and have a little cry. So how do you get a stolen dog back? Well, sadly, you have to play the game, as sick as it is. What we've noticed in the last few years is more and more dogs are going to what we call ransom situations. The people that are stealing them are realising the owners are going to pay far more for that dog than anybody else. So they're now waiting maybe a week for posters to go up before they move the dogs on. This is why we have to tell the owners straight away what they have to do and they have to put a reward on there. Even though the police advise you not to, if you want to see your dog, you've got to pay the money, otherwise you're not going to see your dog again. In the South East it's about £500 a dog at the moment, if you're lucky. Some people can get very greedy, want a thousand, a couple of thousand. Um, one lady last year paid £3,000. Um, and they came and stole the dogs again. The main reasons for someone to steal a working dog are probably financial, but it could be for fighting or coursing. But then there are some thieves who are just barbaric. One of our regular contributors, Roy Lupton, had his two long-haired German shepherds stolen in the summer. One is still missing. The other was found eight miles from his home in Kent, locked in an empty barn with septicemia, its tail chopped off. Roy told us he believes his dog was left there to die. His family, like Selina, are offering a financial reward for the return of their dogs. So what should you be doing to try and keep your dog becoming a statistic? The bigger problem we have is with the rural dog theft, the working dogs. This is getting a big problem. And these could be moved all over the country. So, you know, appeal to everybody, get some ID on your dog. It's too late after the dog's been stolen. Think about, you know, make it a priority this week. Get your dog down to the vet and get it microchipped or tattooed, or indeed both. Tattoos are far more visible. And if your suspicions are aroused, there are a few signs to look out for which might show that you're next in line. The giveaway signs check your gates. They'll usually leave a chalk mark of some sort on your gate or a pile of stones. Dog theft is a rural crime which is devastating people's lives. Doglost.co.uk responds to 150 calls for help every week. And if you have any information about the theft of Selena's Cocker Spaniel Archie or Roy's German Shepherd, please contact the charity at the website on the screen now.